Hello again, my name is Calvin uh, and I have a new tutorial for you. But before we get started, I have to say thank you. Um, thanks so much for your support uh, of my last tutorial, uh, the raw workflow. It was an English tutorial and this tutorial gets more than 10,000 views in a couple of days. So thank you so much. And of course, I will do more English tutorials for you. And today I have a tutorial about uh, a way how I adjust skin tones, um, especially skin tones, uh, what contains too much magenta inside. And you can see here a portrait. And in this portrait, there are too much magenta tones uh, in the skin tone. And I'd like to show you my way how I fix this. There are tons of tutorials out there where you can see how people um, uh, adjusting uh, the skin tone with setting with a color sample tool and dealing with numbers. That's not my way. Um, I'm, a, I'm a guy who needed it in a very easy way with a few sliders. And uh, yeah, let's watch this tutorial and then you can compare this technique with other techniques of adjusting a skin tone and then you can make uh, your decision what works best for you. Okay, so I duplicate the layer first and of course I try to do this uh, in camera raw and most of the time I shoot raw. I have here a JPEG image, um, uh, but I will open this JPEG image uh, in camera raw because in camera raw we have a few sliders what we don't have in Photoshop and you can do the same with Lightroom. When you uh, do not have the latest uh, Photoshop CC version, you do not have this filter here, Camera Raw filter. Um, then you have to click on File, Open. Then you have to click on the JPEG file and you have to change the format from JPEG to Camera Raw because then the JPEG file thinks uh, the JPEG file is a RAW file. And <laughs> that's very cool. And then you can open a JPEG file in Camera Raw. All right, I have now the latest uh, Photoshop CC version, so I change this layer into a smart object first, and then I apply the camera raw filter. And right here we have uh, much more sliders than in uh, Photoshop, um, especially uh, in the HSL section. Right here we have the orange tones, and the orange tones are perfect to adjusting a skin tone. But um, right here you can adjust the saturation, the hue and the brightness of the orange tones. So when the orange tones have too much magenta inside, you can see this slider will not work. You can bring more red and more yellow into the skin tone, but you can't adjust the magentas. You can adjust the magentas here, you can turn the magentas a little bit more into red. And this works a little bit. Yeah, to adjust the skin tone. But perfect, a perfect skin tone for me is a little bit more orange tone. And uh, in Europe, most of the people, when they are nervous, uh, when you take pictures of them, then the skin tone gets a little bit too magenta, not orange. And magenta looks a little bit sick uh, to me, so not so good. So what I need is a slider who turns magenta into orange, not into red. And you can find this slider in the camera calibration section. I'd never been there before in my first years of retouching because, I mean, there is camera calibration. I don't like to calibrate my camera. But a friend told me there is a very cool slider to adjust the skin tones. And right here, you can change the magentas, the red primary, the magentas a little bit more into orange. And this slider is a little bit better than the other slider. Um, sometimes you have a skin tone like this, then this slider will work perfect for you. In this case, I bring this slider just a little bit to the right side. Not so much, just a little bit, and I desaturate it a little bit. And then the skin tone looks not perfect, not brown, but much better. Not so much magenta inside. And this is the first step, what I do all the time when I have a skin tone, what contains too much magenta tones. The next step is then I go into the HSL grayscale mode and right here I can desaturate. Desaturate is here, you have to go to saturation. I can desaturate the orange a little bit. I can brighten the orange a little bit to make the skin a little bit uh, brighter or desaturated. In this case, I like to have a brown skin tone, so a little bit more like uh, the model was a little bit longer in the, into the sun. 
Um, so I change the color temperature just a little bit. And what I use most of the time is I go into the split toning and uh, I do only change um, the color of the shadows because when you change the color temperature, everything in the image gets warmer. But right here, just the shadows. And uh, the model here contains a lot of shadows. So I choose here a little bit this orange brown tone and I bring up the saturation just a little bit. Yeah, something like this. And now, and now you can compare. Let's open this file here now in Photoshop and let's compare these two versions. That was before, after, before, after. Now we have a very good skin tone, very nice image. And this is the way how I adjust my skin tones when the skin tone contains too much magenta. So again, the perfect slider to adjust the skin tone what contains too much magenta is the camera calibration slider here, red pr primary, and you can adjust here uh, the skin tone in a very, very good and easy way. Give them a try and compare these techniques uh, with the techniques, what you learned before, what you saw from other instructor, and then you can make your decision what way works best for you. This is my way, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you'd like to see more English tutorials, let me know, write in the comments what kind of tutorials uh, you like to see, what kind of techniques, write it in the comments in English, and I will do more English tutorials for you. Thank you guys, I appreciate your support and see you soon.